Oh, shalom. It's following your shoe. Welcome again to the rock. First, I want to start off by saying um, our seed list will be available and I will be sending them out uh, later on this week. Uh, just taking a little bit of time to see what we have, uh, what we harvested last year as far as seeds go. So, um, for those of you who sent me emails, I have your emails. I've gotten your emails. I will be sending out the seed list and also. Um, one of the sisters is, I'm not very social media, uh, uh, I don't have social media awareness. One of the sisters is taking it on to make a hood to homestead, uh, I think it was Instagram. I think it was Instagram. So she's going to be making one, we'll, we'll, we'll be posting up the seed list and everything there. And, uh, you know, tr striving to get the list out. And then eventually, we do have a web page that we are going to be creating, so... Looking forward to that, but yes, if you are, have sent me uh, looking for seeds or cuttings or anything like that, I will be getting the list out. And if you are interested in seeds, cuttings, uh, definitely Drew's from Artichokes, um, send me an email. It's in the description below. But uh, the focus of this video is if you know that the reason, a large reason why a lot of people are unable to attain what they want or to reach what they want to reach in life is because you are worried what other people are going to think about you. Oh, hold on a second. My son wants to bring me something. He, he wanted to bring me my Amazon box. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, you're not able to reach what you want to receive. Uh, uh, Pac, you want, you're not able to reach what you want to reach because you are concerned about what other people think about you. I've seen, I've seen marriages end because people are worried about what others are going to think, especially women. You're worried about what others are going to think about you. You know, one of the worst advices I've ever heard given is, you know, I hear a lot of women who are married who seek the advice of single women, women with failed marriages, or, you know, they seek advice from their mama, but their mama and never had their father in their life. Or a consistent man in their life. It's one man after another, after another, after another. But yeah, those are the ones that we are worried about. We're worried about society, what they think about us. What is this person who I randomly meet? And you see that this really affects people because people drive cars to impress people that they don't know. People buy expensive cars to impress people that they don't know. They wear expensive clothing to impress people that they don't know. And I find it really odd. And, and people are literally selling out their future. They're getting in massive amounts of debt to try and impress people that they don't even know. Or to impress people that you do know. Your co-workers or whatever it may be. In reality, you need to be focused on achieving and getting to where you want to be. If you want to homestead, let me tell you, that homestead is not going to come because you're worried about the influences of other people. If you want to come out of her, if you want to do anything in your life, start a business, it's not going to start because... You're worried about what other people think about you. I've learned that that's one of the biggest detriments to people. So, and I'm going to say this, especially the sisters, it's one of the biggest detriments that I've seen is that y'all won't make a step because, well, if I, if I, you may, let's just say, you may even like a dude, you know, a dude. You may be interested in joining a dude's house, but you won't join his house because you're worried about what your friends and family are going to say about you being in polygyny. About what they're going to say about you joining a man's house who doesn't want to live in the city. Let's just say he has no wife, but he doesn't want to live in the city. He doesn't want to, he wants to grow his own food. And here you are single, and you're either taking advice from people who are married and are keeping you single. The church does that a lot. The church does that a lot. They keep the single woman single while the leadership in the church is all married. All the women that are giving them the advice, <laughs> they all married. So you, you're taking advice from people or you're taking advice from people that are just single who want to keep you in the same state that they are in. Why? You're missing out on the thing that the father, Yah, may have had for you. You're missing out on an opportunity to have a family, to have protection, because you're worried about what friends. And the reality of it is, 
once you get married, your focus is going to be on your household, your husband, your children, the vision. Anyways, that all that outside influence is not going to be there anyways. You know, I tell y'all sisters, I'm, I'm doing this video because it's, you know, sisters that ask these questions. Y'all allow too many outside influences to dictate how you're going to act, how you're going to respond, how you're going to feel, what you're going to do in your marriage to your husband when it's his job to place the hedge of protection around you, to set the direction for the family. You're worried about what other people are going to think about it. And either these people are single and you're taking their advice, which is foolish. Sirach talks about a counselor. You shouldn't be taking counsel from people like that. You know, uh, they haven't, they're, not, they're not able to provide you a successful marriage, but they're giving you counsel on what they would and wouldn't do. But they ain't got no man. They are always the biggest counselors, the ones that ain't got no husband, the ones that ain't that that that, that, that well, their husband, their, their marriage is miserable. They're always the ones that have the most counsel about what they will and wouldn't do. They always tell you about, well, I wouldn't do that, and they're always referring to the man that they never have or had, ever. Or you're listening to people who don't really care what decision you make because they have their husband, and if you go throughout the rest of your life without one, they got him. Men, you do the same thing. Well, I wouldn't go out there at home. So I heard that countless times. I wouldn't do, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would just do this with my money instead. And I chose to do what the Father sent me on, the vision that he sent me on. I wasn't caring about what other people said. People talked. People said you couldn't do it. People said, people said, people said, people said. And now I realize and a lot of those naysayers ain't saying shit. They ain't saying nothing at all. They're just sitting back on the sideline watching. So don't lose the vision that the Father has. Don't lose where you're trying to go because of words from other people or their opinions. A lot of times people speak their opinions on your life. Sirach 3.24, for many are deceived by their own vain opinion and an evil suspicion hath overthrown their judgment. So a lot of people have an opinion. And if you largely look at your own life, you'll actually look at a lot of your life is based on the opinions of others. If you look at a lot of the things you did in your life, you realize you did those things on the opinions of others. Not on you actually putting forth deep thought on that thing and coming to a, a conclusion that this is the direction that you want to go and this is the path that you want to take. It's largely, but I mean, you can't convince me that the things that we do in this society are our own thoughts. No, you can't convince me that, you know, women that walk around with those Freddy Krueger claw nails are doing it because they just figured out that it was a great idea. That it was very, very logical and very practical. No, it was the opinions of others. Most of what we do today, you can't, you can't tell me that the reason why you bought those shoes was because, you know, I, I really, really, really need a pair of uh, uh, Air Force Ones when I go out into the homestead. No, you bought those shoes because of the opinions of others. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them, you know, with, with, with that stuff. You can afford it. You know, do you, but I'm just saying a lot of what we do is based on the opinions of others. Well, why don't you go based off of what is right for you in your life and not on the opinions of others. You make the decisions instead of letting everybody else make the decision for you. Stop allowing other people's influences to keep you single and miserable and broke and in debt and, and a servant and a slave and, and no direction. You're just waiting for stimuli from somebody else. That's a, that's a terrible life. It's a terrible life. Don't waste your life based on what other people think and or say. Seek the Father. Seek Yah. Read the book. And go in the direction he will lead you. He says in his book, Trust in Yah with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. And all of your ways acknowledge him, he'll direct your paths. And maybe the reason why a lot of people's paths aren't you know, set is why they have no vision given. Not talking about vision like you fall into a trance vision, I'm talking about a vision for your life. Is because you haven't submitted yourself to him in all of your ways and allowed him to direct your path. A lot of you still have the steering wheel of your life acting like Yah's the one actually directing it. And all you're doing is lying and deceiving yourself. Because if Yah was actually directing your life, he would lead you to the things that he has constantly shown throughout his book and how he does things. Bless y'all.
I have a lot more videos to do, and I know, sisters, that you're sending a lot of emails, and brothers, you're not sending emails too, and I'm going to get to these videos. I apologize. Also, once again, the seed list will be up later on this week. Look forward to them in your emails, and then on the Instagram, which later on this week I will be posting um, uh, in the description. Shalom.